Namaste. I am channeling the energies from the universe. I'm manifesting the energies from the earth and from the dumb. Well, you see here, she's wearing this fleece jacket that I felted for her. She has pneumonia. And so we're channeling the energies to heal her. It's very important. When I was five years old, I took on my most important task in this world and became the Dalai Mama. And I have learned so much through this very crucial, crucial job, caring for my baby. She communicates to me in all sorts of ways. At night, in my subconscious, she tells me about her dreams of all sorts of things in the marshes and the swamps, creatures from the moon. And we must learn to communicate with these beings to be whole. But if I were to go without her, we would be lost. And all of her chakras would be out of line. And she would simply freeze. We help each other. To give answers to those with questions unanswered. There are so many questions unanswered. She's had terrible nightmares. Terrible nightmares of a swamp, a marsh, a lake in a park called La Bonte. His Holiness the Dalai called the world to this place for the initiation. This ceremony is held infrequently, roughly every two or three years at one chosen place. These lakes are, are right in the location of vortexes all across the country and across the world. And we've come together like to this one location, right, with the most strongest energy. But in all the towns that we've grown up in and that we've lived in, there has been a lake like this with the vortex that has these strange occurrences in order for this phenomenon to happen. It's what I feel in the air and the earth and the water. It's not about all these science terms, but I'm with this group of people because they're being them, just like I'm being me. Howdy. Soulfly. Yeah, metal. 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 Yeah, metallic energy. I don't oh. shake hands. Oh, okay. It's not in, it's not in the fox range. Oh, okay. You're the one with that theory, right? Oh, that would be fantastic. And then the energy will come through the hat and it'll light me up like magnets. And I'm going to stick it. It crawled. And, and I think it had hair swished back and forth. Oh, I loved it. I just think about it all the time so that we can enjoy it tonight. I think about it every day. I just want to hug it. I love it. And we'll worry about that later. Um, either way, I can hug it. I had to have been nine. I was out fishing with my dog when I first started to feel almost like the hairs like on my hands and arms were being pulled up like to the sky, right? energy or like something pulling us up right in my dog as well and that's when the boat just had a little bit of a slight rumble like this and I entered some sort of trance I don't really remember anything that happened sort of bird-like with cat eyes 
Oh, alien big cats. Yeah, of course. Do I know my alien big cats? I'm actually like the person, like I'm the go-to guy for the alien big cat. You know, the phantom cat phenomenon, right? It was really originally just came in a dream, right? Everything that's real, right, comes from a dream. Two hours this way, I don't know if you've heard, but there used to be an yttrium plant, right? They were, they were mining for this rare earth element. And this was an ancient ruin. I saw the cat there with really huge eyes. Just, gi just these gigantic eyes, right? It disappeared into the night. Just like that, that's all it was. It came out, looked at me, boom, boom. Eyes like that, like a cougar. Boom, like a cougar. And it just stared at me. And then bam, it was gone. Gone into the night. Gone into the mist. But not gone from my dreams and not gone from my memories. And I was different. I was just a kid. Because, you know, you, you get itchy. It happens. You get bugs. That's fine. So then my parents started to homeschool me because the teachers pretty much said that I either had to take a bath or I couldn't come back anymore. That was out of the question, so. Um, then when I was 18 years old, I went out of my, my home, which wasn't really my home, and I decided to start transforming into my real self and be the real me. As you can see, you know, it's just like, like any animal that they just get through it. They don't care. They'll get back up and they're fine. They don't, they don't feel the pain. So. And I remember when I was about four years old, I was running around chasing a rabbit. I saw this thing. You gotta really be careful of being a fox. You don't just want to eat anything. You really have to get to know this creature before you can just bite into it. I mean, most animals can't. Are you having those type of experiences? Is that maybe why you had felt something, you know? But this creature really, really got to me. If you're a fox, are you gonna eat it? There's been a real imbalance. You got it, you got it. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh why, watch you your know, head, watch your head. Oh, if you oh, use a little head. bit of rabbit guts up there. What do you think it is, if you were to point to one specific thing that has, has drawn you here, ultimately? Um, it's in the power of the science, the science of the soul. Because I, I believe I'm a soul psychologist. So I, I believe, truly, deep down, just because of my psychology, my discipline, you separate out the soul of the animal, and that's what we study. And I'm hoping to find a, a dead specimen. Really, a dead specimen would be perfect. Almighty shit. I can't kill it. I'm a vegan, man. I don't kill things. Shit. Animals aren't, aren't mine to be killed and ridden of flesh. Shit. When you say mining, are you referring to animal mining? I'm mining. I'm mining my own business, you know? Shit. Wind is picking up, we've had a malfunction. Oh, oh. still making that oh. flash look. Feel their pressure. Oh. I can feel oh. them. Oh. It's all happening right now. The wind is wild. It's a thing, man. It's coming out. Well, not even dressed. Are you not getting my a messages bird. about the uh, 
the avian nature. I published a whole piece on my blog, and I shared it with all of you in the community. Uh, it was you, my you blog. Know. My blogs. The electromagnetic frequencies in the vortex, trying to communicate with um, various trans animal people. Of the alien big cat. An entirely different species. I would say, as I described, this is avian reptile on my blog. Then who is deleting the link? Who's the who's deleting the link? To the doll house. Online? On the internet? We don't believe in the internet. There are simply more authentic ways to contact the knowledge of the universe. There is no internet in this house. What are you asking me? Has the doll been online? Not hey, Dolly! <sighs> Not now! Hey, Dolly, did you make pizza this week? I'm realigning my chakras, please give me a moment! <laughs> hey, Dolly! Not a good time at all. Oh, um, so you this with your so words. As we rake the creature. Are you one of the moon um, rakers? Yes. You're a moon raker. Are you familiar? With oh yeah, I'm a moon raker. You are. Yes. How have we never discussed this? Uh, I don't know. I guess I just never thought to mention it. Yes. I am a, I'm a, I'm a moonraker. You know, I don't have any connection with the moon, really. But they, but they say they say that wolves howl at the moon. We we don't do silly things such as as howling at the moon. Well, we find that in our practice of moonraking that that as we as we Wait. that it, it creates the sense of zen and and then. Once we're in that state of Zen, we really connect. We feel like we can connect with things on a deeper level. And it's the moon energies that we believe are able that connect us yes. with animals. But I see it working with the nature and everything, and yes, helping me out. But I've well, never you done agree. this moon raking. Guys, you don't you don't have to kill in a heat. I got the solution. We only moon. Only moon. No rake. Only moon. We only moon. We only moon? We only Wait. moon. Mooning. Moon. 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 Guys, you might have thought I was a little bit crazy back then, but like, I'm I'm telling you. It's a creature of uh of a contradiction. Contradiction. So that's why, you know, you say one thing, you gotta do the other. Right. The opposite. Right. I was, in, in between. I was wondering, did One you... and the other. What if we found a, oh. a specimen and we could cut it up in pieces? I don't remember the milk Us poo. The milk foxes poo. do it's no such essence. thing. We're not gonna kill anything tonight. Not a killer. Most of likely, any animals. My only concern we're is that- We're not hunters. No, no, but, but I've we're, been we're... concerned that the energy that's going to come through the stars and might cook the creature and well, we might well, kill that, it, but that, that not that on be purpose. Us. No, no, yeah. So, that would be secondary death. Uh, okay. Secondary death. The, the, the death. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we did not okay. touch okay. the so animal. Okay, so it's okay. It, okay. The, the, the death channel through us oh. and then the, it killed the, the animal. So oh. understand that. Okay. Oh. That's okay. Okay. That always happens. That life means death. Okay. I understand that. Okay. Okay. But what I don't get is, you know, you know, cutting okay. his throat, chopping it into pieces, eating it up. If he's going to be this way. Well, eat these things. Do not understand the animal way. And I feel Oh, we'll eat it. Feel that you see me eat oh, it's eating it. things creatures as a bad thing. 
and I'm just being a fox. That's what foxes do. Well, we're just gonna have to survive then. In hell. Hey. Hey. Well, because I thought this was a community that was safe, it was a safe place where everybody had their ideas, but they were okay with everybody else's ideas and thoughts. Right. But it's not feeling like a safe place right now. This group, My hair this group is started back, on a is message literally board. standing up right now in defense. This group started on a message board. Of course it's going to be divided. What do you suggest? Because otherwise I feel this documentary could be over. You! And I will just go find that creature on my own. Be over. Without all of you. And you it will miss it. It was never me. about the document. It's a missing link. For me, it's about trying to you uncover the hidden creatures. The you, that I, that humans, that foxes, that anybody we have a connection with. It's almost as if it's a missing link. And if we can't find these creatures, right? If we can't study these creatures, if we can't map their genomes, right? Then we can't fully understand who we are, right? As humans, as animals, and what our role is here on this planet. And that's my biggest concern. I will if he does. It doesn't matter to me what pulls you here. Can we all agree on that, right? I agree. I think the solution is for everyone to moon rake. If we have to get rid of the rake, if we right, we have to get rid of the, oh, the moon, that doesn't matter to me. We just do hands in. What's our chant? Moon, 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 moon. You guys, it's here. Oh, it's here. I can smell it. I can feel the energy picking up. Put your sensor on. I, I, I can feel it picking up. Oh, oh, I can feel it again. It's in the ground. Ah! There it is. It's here. It's like it's in the ground. It's here. Oh! It's in the ground. Oh! It's in the ground. It's underneath the ground. It's in the earth. There's cement underneath here. You feel? Is it stuck? Way down below it, I can feel its heart beat. I taught you the Dali chakras. They are the rivers that flow within us. You start from the earth, gathering energy. You let it flow through you, through your roots, growing like a tree, your root chakra out. Joining and then the there are rivers together. that come in and out. The sacral. Joining the solar, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown, where you get energy from the sun and the moon. They make you feel whole, peaceful, connected. This is the Dal Mudra. And then we share the end of this interview by acknowledging the presence of one another. The Dal within me recognizes and bows to the Dal within you. Dal must stay.
there. 